So what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today is another top 5 characters video and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 mechs. Now in Sunday's video we did the top 5 imp characters and a lot of you voted for me to have the mechs and the imps in separate videos. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. I was hoping to bring this out on Wednesday but I am going away for about a week and a half so I've been preparing videos so that it doesn't look like I've gone anywhere uh, to you guys but I will be away for about a week and a half so I did get delayed making this video so it is going to be out on Friday so I do apologize for that but we are going to have another top 5 video on Sunday it's just not going to be a top 5 character. So make sure you look forward to the top 5 on Sunday. And there will also be a top 5 in the middle of next week as well. That one is going to be on the Wednesday. So anyway, top 5 mechs. Let's get straight into it. So at number 5, we have the Pylon mech. Now, the Pylon Imp was the number 1 spot overall on the top 5 Imps. But his mech... It's a little bit underperforming. One of his abilities, you drop pylon mines, which are very similar to the cactus potato mines. The only downside is this isn't an ability where you can deal damage directly. It needs to be waiting around for a plant to walk into this. And I don't see myself using these too much. Uh, his second ability is a sprint tackle, very similar to the all-star, all little drakes. So that's a pretty cool ability. It does do a lot of damage, but the only downside to this mech as well is the damage that he does is good he just has a really really slow rate of fire for his mech so that is the reasons why he is at number five what do you think about the pylon mech i love the pylon imp i like the pylon mech it's just not my favorite so overall the pylon imp is a good character but his mech kind of lets him down a little bit so the number five spot is taken by the pylon mech The number four spot is taken by Little Drake's mech. Now, this is an amazing mech. It's got the most health. It's only close range, though, so you need to get very, very close to the plants to be able to deal damage. Now, this is a great one at being able to take out the plants. The only downside with this mech is I find myself kind of getting a lot of lag with this character. I can breathe on a lot of plants. I don't know if any of you have the same issue with the little Drake mech, but I can breathe onto the plants for quite a few seconds and it doesn't deal damage to them at all. I almost overheat before I start dealing damage. So I don't know what the issue is though with little Drake. I don't know if it's lag because I don't have this issue anywhere else in the game. It's literally only little Drake's mech. So I don't know if it's lag. I don't know if it's something else, but I just find myself not being able to damage them when I am firing my flame until towards the very end uh, and I do overheat so he does a lot of damage very quickly but you do need to get very close to the enemy he also has a sprint tackle as well so you can kind of knock the enemy away you can get closer to the enemy and he also has some kind of smoke screen shield which I think acts very similar to the citron shield uh, and kind of blocks damage as well so the number four spot is taken by little drake's mech The number three spot is taken by the standard imps mech. It's just overall a really good mech. It's got a good rate of fire, I think. Its weapon is very fast rate of fire. It does a decent amount of damage. I think up very close it can do like 11 damage per bullet. And it has a very fast rate of fire. Uh, its two abilities that he has is Robo Stomp. So he stomps his foot on the ground uh, which causes a lot of damage to the enemy and his second one is missile madness which is kind of a little bit unpredictable because it does kind of move a little bit slower for a missile sometimes it locks onto the enemy sometimes it doesn't so i don't know the missile madness is kind of hit and miss depending on what situation you are in but the missile madness is very powerful if you do hit the enemy quite a lot uh, just overall the standard mech is a very good mech so the number three spot is taken by the original mech The number two spot is taken by the Z7 mech. Now, they did a lot of improvements to this mech a while ago in a character balance change. You have the Zomni Blade, which you can kind of cut across the plants, and I believe you can deal 70 damage to any plants that are in the surrounding area. But his other ability, I've completely forgot the name of what it's called. You actually fire some kind of orb, which then pulls the plants towards you if it hits them in a certain radius. So you can kind of use them two combination of abilities together. You can use your ability while they are 
are falling or being pulled towards you. You can fire at them while they're on the way towards you and then you can hit them with the zombie blade to be able to take them out. Now on top of that, he has a mech which is very similar to the standard mech. It does a very powerful amount of damage and it's got a great rate of fire as well. So just overall, the Z7 mech is a very powerful mech. So the number two spot is taken by the Z7 mech. And the number one spot is taken by the Shrimp Mech. Now this is definitely my favourite mech. Uh, the reason for this is not necessarily the abilities, because I don't use the abilities too much, but I just love his weapon. It's a huge pink beam that fires on the enemies and it does a lot of damage. It's great at long range, it's great anywhere, it just takes a huge amount of damage. Uh, his abilities are also useful. One of them you kind of fly into the air and then be shot forward so you can either get away from the enemy or get closer to the enemy. And his second one kind of spins some kind of whirlwind and it kind of knocks the plants back uh, and deals a little bit of damage to them as well. And I believe it can pull sunflowers and uh, pea gatlings out of the beams as well. So that's pretty interesting as well. But just overall, I do like the shrimp mech. I love his beam. It's very powerful. It's very accurate. And just overall, he is my favorite mech. So the number five spot is the pylon it. The number four spot is little Drake. The number three spot is the standard mech. The number two spot is the Z7 mech. And the number one spot is the shrimp mech. Now leave your comments down below on your top five mechs. I would love to find it out. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like down below. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Exclusions and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.